So let's talk about the products that we currently offer. First of all, we will mount a sensor on the top of your sprayer. The sensor would go on top of your cab. It'll look about 80 foot out in front of you and up to 140 foot wide. You're gonna be able to see your full boom width. And so what we're gonna do is that camera is going to be doing a multi-spectral pass. So we have red, green, blue, uh, near infrared, and then also red edge. And we're calculating our own index uh, that allows us to do plant health. Then that system's going to take that. It's going to basically do all the processing on board and this happens in real time, so you can drive as fast as you want to go. You know, we have guys like doing over 20 with our system. Just as long as your sprayer can keep up, we can keep up. We do have a built-in GPS in there, or we can also use your tractor's GPS to know that there's movement there because you know, if you stop, it had already applied from where you were at. And so you know, like if you keep on stopping, it'll just stop there, it'll turn off, and then it'll turn back on once you start driving. So basically it'll all be done on the uh, unit itself. And then from there, the command is sent back to the display. Depending on what protocol we use is kind of how we control that. So if it's a serial uh, protocol, so like uh, Raven had the green seeker protocol, it'll go ahead and still use that. Or if it is a ISO bus rig, it kind of plays like the telephone game. You know, like from grade school where you turn, this guy tells you a number, and then you turn, you tell them a number. That's exactly what our system's doing, so it's cutting it off right there. And so effectively, really, your system doesn't know that we're there on ISO bus, so it makes installation very easy. And then so the big thing here with the full package is because we are looking out in front of you, you're putting the rate where it actually needs to go. So that's what's really cool about our system is that because it does look out in front of you and we take into consideration your speed, it puts that exactly where it needs to be. We have a, a new system out for this year and basically the big things are here is that we're actually having a stereoscopic camera pair in there. What stereoscopic allows you to do is like stereoscopic's like your eyes, right? If you, if you only use one eye, your depth perception's really bad. So your depth perception is gonna be really good. And so what this is gonna allow us to do is for like green on brown work, where we're only gonna be spot spraying weeds, that pair helps us to visualize what the ground is like. So if there's hills, if there's anything like that, we can see that really well. And then the five sensor bands are already there. There's also a cell phone modem in there. So all your data is transmitted directly up to the portal, which we'll talk about here in a second. Uh, we work with all major crops. Basically everything that you mentioned, uh, we can work with and we have. We kind of take a 360 approach to this. So a in the field, in the cabin, and in the app. First of all, in the field, we've already kind of talked about this, that sensor's doing everything in real time. You don't have to you know, upload any maps if you don't want to, but since you already have your VRA maps, you can upload those as well. In the cab, we just have a single tablet, which you guys have in front of you. We are working to put that in the uh, VT itself, just to have one less thing in the cab. The only wire that's gonna be running to that system is a permanent, like a permanent wire. And then this one's using Wi-Fi to connect to the tablet. So everything that you need to make it run is in the box. Basically, there's gonna be three options. This is your home screen. And so to get started, there's three basic operation type. One is a field monitoring, which is just like what you said, no actual applications taking place, but we're gonna construct a map for you. And I'll show you the, like, the high qualityness of that map here in a little bit. Scan-based VRA is exactly what it sounds like. It's gonna look out in front of you, it's gonna tell you what you need and it's gonna apply it. And then finally, prescription-based VRA is like what we talked about to where you can put in your prescription and we fine tune it for you. But so to get started, you know, we would just press, you know, this button right here, which would then give us these. And if we want to do a scan based VRA, we'd click on that, which would bring us up to this tab. And this one would basically say what kind of operation we're going to do. And if you'd click on that drop down, it would give you like PGR harvest aid. So this is basically the screen that you would see. There would of course be more bars across here. And so basically each one of these bars is part of your field of view and on your sprayer, there'd probably be 20 of them across there. And so basically, we would basically see crop health here. Smaller is less biomass, less healthy. Bigger bars are, you know, better vegetation. Higher biomass and higher chlorophyll content there. This gray bar is kind of neat. So because our system's cameras, we have the ability to detect if something's crop or not, or if we trust that value. So let's say if you pull up to the road and you scan half the road with your boom, or not your boom, with the, with the sensor, it throws those out. So it knows, okay, I don't pay attention to this. Then on here too, you can see the feedback of, um, of what you're applying, and then also how much fertilizer you use, area coverage, that sort of thing. The other thing that's neat on here is it has a snapshot feature. So our system automatically takes photos as it's driving across the field, and it does it two different ways. One is a distance-based, 
where it's just going to take photos. Uh, the other one is to where if it sees a major change, it's gonna snap a photo. So that's a really cool feature that's gonna allow you to do that. But then also you can take one manually as well too. So like if you're driving through the field and you see something that your agronomist or crop scout needs to go check out, you can pop a picture of it. And in the portal, you can look at all those in 4K and download them and their GPS tags. So you can send that to your agronomist and say, I want you to go right here. The only other thing that you really need to see is there's a stop and a pause. So once you're done, press stop. And then if you need to pause, like so if you wanna go refill, you know, you don't need to be scanning the whole entire time driving around the field. You just press pause, go back to semi fill up and then press resume.